Guys, I've pretty much been dreading this battle for the entirety of today, and normally Marshall, who we have to take on in this episode, and is the last member of the Elite Four here, he isn't that bad. In the normal game of Black and White 2, he's really not that bad, but in this hack, he's especially bad because his Pokemon are completely changed, his movesets are completely changed, and he has a ton of Ice moves, specifically has Ice Punch on a ton of his Pokemon on his team, and like all of my Pokemon are weak to Ice, Zoro and Robin are both four times weak, and we have Bioshock was four times weak to fighting moves in general, so this is probably going to go bad, but I do have a couple Pokemon to counter him. Specifically, we have Chandelure, who's immune to the fight type moves and also resists ice types. And then we have Sod, who's going to do a lot of work. And Robin can do some work once the Pokemon with Ice Punch are out of the way. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this. And I do think I have Chandelure out in front right now. I figure starting with Chandelure is the best because I think my best bet for this battle um, is either Bo Boa could actually do some work here. Because uh, Boa is immune to the ghost type moves and also resists the, uh, resist the ice type moves. Um... So Boa could do some work here, but my best bet is probably Sanji, because Sanji resists fighting type moves, um, won't take too much damage from ice type moves, uh, and outside of that also has psychic type moves, or a psychic type move, excuse me, in Psycho Cut, to, uh, to counter some of his fighting types. So let's go ahead and take him on. I thank you deeply for the chance of another round of combat against you. In myself, I seek to develop the strength of a fighter, and shatter any weakness in myself, prevailing with the force of my convictions. Victory, decisive victory is my intention. Challenger, here I come. Alright guys, this is probably going to be a tough battle. Yeah, like Marshall, like this Elite Four in general, I don't think it's that bad uh, in the in the normal game for Black and White 2. Um, but this is a hack. This is Volt White 2. This is a ROM hack. So the game is significantly harder. Levels are going to be off the charts. Holy crap, I forgot about this thing. He totally has a Blaziken, doesn't he? This is shitty. And this thing has speed boost too. I know for a fact this thing has speed boost. Because Drano wouldn't put it in the damn game if it didn't have speed boost. Drano is the creator of the sack, as I've said before. Oh gosh. I am honestly just going to stay in the Shadow Ball. Oh, crap. See, I'm glad I stayed in because if I had switched out, then would have just gotten out of free Swords Dance. This will hopefully do a decent amount. I don't think it'll do over half, though, to be honest, because we are 14 levels lower, so. Oh, Lord. Oh, F my life. We're screwed. I think, th I hope this, if this thing carry the Ice Punch, I'm just straight up, like, completely effed. Uh, we're actually going to flamethrower or Fire Blast. We're going to flamethrower here. And the reason for that... Oh, thank you so much! That's great! I hope it is... It might not have anything to hit me with, actually. If it doesn't, this is perfect. Oh my gosh. Please tell me you don't have anything to hit, with, hit me with. Okay, we're actually going to go for Fire Blast here, because Fire Blast is our strongest move. Ooh, I don't have too many left. We're actually going to go for Flamethrower. Yeah, Flamethrower. Okay. That is really bad, actually. Sock. That's horrible. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, this might actually do a decent amount of damage. Okay, that did do quite a bit of damage. Riddle Flare Throw again. Please do not kill me. Please do not. Oh, crud. That is definitely going to kill me. Oh, and it has the speed boost, too. Shoot. <laughs> Dang it, man. This is bad. If it's carrying the Ice Punch, I'm, like, legitimately screwed. What do I have to hit this? Okay, Boa, we need you right now. <laughs> Shoot. I don't know what it can do to Boa. Hopefully it doesn't have anything. If it has an Earthquake, then we're kind of screwed here. We're going to go for the Shadow Ball, I guess. Will this even kill? Earthquake. Crud. Can we take one? I don't think we can, but we'll see. Come on. Oh, shoot. Without any pro Okay, okay. There's only one thing I can do here, really. And that's Intimidate Juggle. So we're going to go on to Salamence. And then we're going to switch on to something else. Uh, we're going to switch on to Bioshock after this because it's probably going to go for the Stone Edge. Or if it has Ice Punch, it'll go for that. And then we'll switch back in Salamence. So, since it's going to go for the Earthquake, hopefully it'll go for the Earthquake after that. So, my only chance is, is this here. Shoot. This was actually like, kind of bad. Stone Edge. Nice. Okay. And now it'll probably go for a Fighting Type move or the Earthquake, in which case we can switch straight out into Salamence. Uh, yeah, we don't have any Sucker Punch. So, if we had Sucker Punch, that would be really helpful here. But we don't, unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to go back into Robin. I think this is the best play. I don't have any other means of beating it, to be honest. I should have just done this right off the bat. I should have predicted that Bo would die to one Earthquake. I mean, if we were if Bo around, were around the same level, then this wouldn't have been a problem. We're actually going to do it one more time here, just to be safe. Uh, I hope it goes for Stone Edge. I really hope it does. But yeah, sorry for doing this. I just don't really see any other way for us to, to beat this uh, beat this Sock. And then we're actually going to come with Mance and just, just like to make sure, you know. Uh, yeah, and then probably going to go for Earthquake again. So yeah, actually, should we go on to Zoro? No, we'll go out into Mance. Yeah, Mance is probably the best play here. 
Yeah, okay. I don't think it can kill us with a Stone Edge after... Now it's at minus one, I think. So I don't think it can kill us with a Stone Edge. Nice. Okay. And then now we're going to... I could start Dragon Dancing. This could be the, a good opportunity to just Dragon Dance up and sweep. So we're going to try that. The problem is a crit, of course, right? So... We'll try it, we'll try it. Oh my! Oh, okay, it didn't crit us. Okay, I thought it did. Shoot. Well, this is bad, because I don't think I outspeed because of the speed boost. We got like a couple of speed boosts, so. I'm sorry for spamming the healing items, guys. We're gonna try a full restore here. I'm surprised that did so much. After minus one, I guess it is 14 levels higher, so that's what I get, you know? Ah, oh, shoot. I mean, I can try stalling it out in Stone Edges, which, which I think is what I'm gonna try to do. Sorry for using such a bitch tactic, I guess. Um, I think it only has one more, if that. It's used two on Bisharp and two on me just now. So I think this, this should be the last one. Hopefully. Hopefully it misses. That would be great, actually. Reversal. Nice. Okay. Uh, should we try? I think we can Dragon Dance up one more time. We're actually going to do that, I think. Man, what? Oh, that was a crit. Okay. We're going to full restore. I'm sorry to keep... I don't want to take any chances with this. I really do not. We're going to fast forward to you. I should have been fast forwarding before. Please do something stupid. All right. I'm glad that was a crit and not normal damage. This is good, though. It clearly doesn't have anything to hit us with. That does literally nothing. Okay, we're in business. Yes, we're in business, guys. I want nothing more than just Salomon sweep this guy. That would be great. I know this is like a stupid tactic, but like, what else am I supposed to do right now? Because <laughs> my Pokemon, my, my team's just weak to this guy. Poorly weak. Very weak, excuse me. Okay, now we outspeed. I don't know why it's, I Dragon Nest again, but we have that in case we want it. Uh, reversal again. Nice. And then let's actually heal up after this. Let's use another full restore. I am out of max potions, by the way. Uh, I think we'll actually be, surprisingly, I think we'll actually be okay on healing items, though. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is in case he has a Pokemon priority that can wipe us out. Uh, because with the reversals, even if he crits us, I don't think he'll be doing that much damage. I mean, not enough to kill us, at least. A crit, uh, as we know from prior experience, does not actually kill. Right now, we'll Dragon Claw. I really hope he doesn't have anything to, to, to directly counter Salamence. Excuse me if I can actually talk. And he still has six Pokemon left, which is very bad. Luckily, Blazer King goes down in one Earthquake. Um, it's not... It doesn't really, really even have that much health, though, so... I don't even know if we'll need to use it. Okay. Lucario. Ooh, this isn't this isn't too great. The reason why I'm saying not too great is because it could have the Focus Sash, and if it has the Ice Punch, it just flat out kills us. So that is not good, but we're going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake. Please do not be carrying the Focus Sash. I do think one of his Pokemon has a Focus Sash, and I think it might just be Lucario. Okay, thank you. Thank God. Okay, that's good. All right, so that the fact that we've taken on two Pokemon means that was somewhat beneficial, at least. This thing has sturdy. Shoot. We're going to get as much damage off on it as we can, though. We're going to go for a fly. Oh, no, it doesn't. Am I? No. Mi Does this thing have sturdy? I guess I'm misremembering things. I don't, I don't know a lot about the 5th Gen Pokemon, to be honest. I mean, I know a lot about some of my favorites, but there are some I don't really know too much about. Like, throw and soccer, two examples... Ooh, that might not kill now. Probably won't, to be honest. Even though we're plus three. No! No! Don't kill, don't kill. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. It's for sure gonna kill. This thing is strong as hell. Oh, whoa. Never mind. I'm pretty sure this... I thought this thing got a stat boost in this game, but I guess not. Uh, in Volt Y2, that is. Not in Y2, because it was introduced in fifth generation. But anyways, this thing's out of the way. Wow, this might actually be a shorter video. <laughs> which I'm not necessarily against. Especially since I have to go, I have to go take a final after this, guys. That's part of the reason why I play is I'm taking a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not only am I screwed by Marshall, I'm also screwed by that final, which is great. I'm totally looking forward to that. Anyways, I'm, I'm glad he doesn't have a Machamp. Uh, Machamp would be able to hit me with a uh, No Guard, which would be stupid. I hate when Machamp does that. I remember when I was a lot younger, and I didn't really understand No Guard worked. Um, <laughs> Machamp used Stone Edge on me, and it just killed me while I was flying. I was like, what the heck? How did that just happen? It was bad. I just got a plus six boost in attack. Wow, we wrecked. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that yet. This thing has fake out and potentially a normal gem, which is no bueno. Nope. Okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't have the fake out because he would have gone for it, I think. Oh, my. You idiot. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're going to kill it unless we miss, which we did not. Thank God. Wow. So it looks like this is just going to be a Salomon sweep. 
Even if uh, his last Pokemon, Pokemon can somehow take down Robin, I think Sanji can. Oh, his last Pokemon's Blaziken. Yeah, this thing can't really take us down, I don't think. I, I hope it can't. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because you're going to die regardless of what you use. <laughs> yeah, it didn't even bother to full restore. If this thing had Protect, that could be bad because you could have multiple Protected and then... Sanji, I don't know if Sanji would be able to deal with that thing, to be honest. But we absolutely destroyed him. There's no single strongest Pokemon in Soul Calibur Battle. That's why it's difficult to keep winning. Except for Robin, who just destroyed you. I swear some of his Pokemon do have Ice Punch, but we just killed all of them before he could use it. I swear they do. The strength shown uh, by you and your Pokemon has deeply impressed me. Please, continue to the next room and face the strongest trainer of the Unova region. Alright. Well, guys, I hate to I hate to be like this. I know this was a super short video, but we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. Um, as I said, I'm just it's, it's crunch time with finals, so I kind of need to be focusing on that. Uh, but I did want to play some play a little bit of a uh, Volt Y2 for you guys because I've been really enjoying this challenge. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon videos in the future. The comment question of the day is: Who is your favorite fighting type trainer of all time? This is kind of a tough one. You know, I actually do like Chuck a lot. Definitely not Bruno. Marshall's cool. I'll, I'll throw Marshall up there. Um, I think it's Chuck. I like Chuck a lot. I don't know why I like Chuck. I think it's because when you first encounter him with a waterfall and he's training under the waterfall and like you go up to him and you're like, you realize it doesn't help with Pokemon. He's like, wait, what? I did not know this or something like that. that those aren't his exact words. I don't think he's as as like flabbergasted I just made about to but, but but nonetheless encountering Chuck the first time is very funny so I personally like him a lot uh, but let me know your guys thoughts on that and I will see you in my next video